we are going to do a little color theory activity using Play-Doh. Get your cardstock paper and set your three colors out. And we are going to first start by getting even equal sides amounts of each color, about like a gobstopper size. <laughs> so you're going to do that with the red, yellow, and the blue. So you're gonna do two of each color and make sure that they are all the same size. So that way we can get the colors to mix evenly. Once you've got them all ready to go, you're gonna take your red and blue and you're gonna squish those together and then keep kneading and working that dough until you create violet. So red and blue make violet. And as you can see, it is transforming before your eyes. Next, we're gonna take blue and yellow. You're gonna squish those together and keep kneading and working that dough until you get green. So blue and yellow make green. And then you're gonna take a yellow and a red and you're gonna work those in together and mix them really, really well. And you're gonna create orange. So red and yellow make orange. So you've created the secondary colors. Now you're going to take a pea size amount of each secondary color, two pea size amounts, making sure that they all equal in size. So they're all about the same size. Once you have those all rolled out, then you're gonna take the same amount from your primary color, and then you're going to take one of your secondary colors and you're gonna mix those together. So green and blue make blue green. That is a tertiary color. Then we're gonna move on and get a pea size amount of yellow. We're gonna mix yellow and green to create yellow green. And that is also a tertiary color. We're gonna move on to yellow and orange. We are gonna mix a yellow and an orange together to create yellow orange. And that is also our tertiary color. Now let's take a little bit of red. We are going to get a pea size amount of that, making sure it's equal to our orange. And then we're gonna mix our red and orange together to create red-orange, tertiary color. Then we'll take a pea size amount of red with purple, violet, We'll mix those together to create red-violet. And then moving on to blue, pea size amount of blue. Mixing that together with violet to create blue-violet.
So now we have our primary, secondary, and tertiary colors. Now I want you to take a pea size amount out of your orange and a pea size amount out of your blue. Make sure they're equal parts. Then you're gonna go ahead and mix those two together. Orange and blue are complementary colors. And in hair coloring, we will use blue or orange to neutralize the other out. So if you have a client that has a copper orange base, then you would want to use a blue to help neutralize the warm down. Now you're gonna take a pea size amount of your red and a pea size amount of your green. Again, red and green are complementary colors. So you're gonna squish those together to see what happens. Excellent. And there's our neutralized red. And then we are going to take a pea size amount of yellow and then a pea size amount of, you guessed it, violet. And we're going to mix those together. Violet and yellow are complementary colors as well. So when you have a client that has a yellow base to their hair, you can use purple to neutralize it. What is really common is purple shampoo to help maintain blonde and to keep it a nice, cool color. So that is how our neutralized primary colors look. Now we're gonna take equal parts, red, yellow, and blue, and we're gonna see what happens when we mix all three equal parts of red, yellow, and blue. Now, with this Play-Doh, it is not true pigment. It's not dark enough pigmented. Normally what you would get when you mix all three primary colors together is a gray color. With our Play-Doh, because the pigmentation isn't perfect, it's going to look a little bit like a gray green color. So that's what happens when you take equal amounts of red, yellow, and blue. Now we're going to show you the UHF. So you're going to take three pea-sized amounts of yellow. You're gonna put that over in the corner of your paper. And it's very important that these are all equal sized so that you get a good result. Then you're gonna get two pea-sized amounts of red and then one amount of blue. This is what we call the UHF, or the Universal Hair Color Formula. It creates a level 6N that is universal across the board, so hair color companies use this formulation when they are creating a level 6N. So with the right pigmentation, it should look like a nice medium brown color. This kind of turned out a little more like a brown green color, which is fine. Still gives you a little bit of an idea. I do have this color that I got with a darker blue Play-Doh. And unfortunately, that wasn't as readily available. So we are using the lighter one for this activity. And there you have it. There's my completed color wheel. So make yours look like mine by labeling it and submitting it on Canvas.